Hello everyone. Today I want to share a um, simulation case in Abacus KE about the dead bed when the car stopped simultaneously. Instantaneous. So here is the analysis result, and I have shown the connector types. And here we used some connector elements. Here is the set belt and the cushion. So let me show you the animation. This is the motion of the body and the seat belt. And this is the mistress stress. And we can see the displacement. And the constraint point and the connector point of the seatbelt. Now let me show, show you how the model is established. The first here is the mesh imported from a mesh and property. The material property here, there are four types of material. The first is elastic tension, and the second is the set bed density, elastic, plastic. So one is for the cushion, and here I used the former crush ball, former material. Here. Here. Crush ball from, and we gave the density in the thick permit pressure for parameters and the hardening parameters stress dependent and the last one is the steer here is for some of the connect point element And respectively, we created eight sections. Uh, it includes solid section, membrane section, shear section, and surface section. We can show you some of this solid and membrane. And we give the thickness is 1.2 millimeter. And shear at the thickness is three millimeters. This for the door side, and for the surface, let me show you which is. the body surface and here is the rigid surface and here also body surface so in the next step we 
get it as a symbol and the step we created a dynamic explicit step and the time duration is about 0 0.0215 millisecond a uh, second and the incrementation is automatic now we create many output for the history output requests or most of them for the connector element so in the interaction module we need to create many of the connector element including the slippery the hinge and the retractor and the cutdown element so for each element we create the respectively connectors sections and this, this is the connector section in which depend the connector behaviors you can see here the slippery we get it non-linear force displacement relationship so there are so many connector element type and connector wires we need to clear that carefully make sure they are all connected right so in the load module we need to define the bundle condition and the load the first the bundle condition is the first is strong and then point of the question is the cushion four corner of the cushion element and for the node we need to create a retention and a gravity acceleration here is the gravity and the first one is for the retention Connector moment. Now we give it a moment for the hinge connector. And then we need to give the whole body of initial velocity. And the velocity is about 20 meters per second. It's in the V1 direction. And here is the coordinate system. So in the mesh module, we didn't need to do anything because we have mesh our part in the mesh. Therefore, we can create a job and submit it. So after a few minutes, we can see this result. Here is the displacement of every element. We create a new viewport. And in this viewport, I will show some of the History output curves. Let me see. History output. And here is element concentrated force. Uh, I can't recognize which element type, which element it is. But just to show you the curve. Most of them are there. 
and not for all. environment here as a displacement so we can show you the many of the curves here is the force force is small There are so many curves and I can't recognize which one is which element. Let's show you the image velocity. Velocity curve Let me just see the animation the Connect tabs Split ring And here is the retractor So this is just an um, exercise model, I, I didn't show you every detail in this tutorial, in this video, so everyone, if you need to learn about QCE, you can subscribe to my channel and learn about QCE together. Thank you.